With bank problems, we find that banks calculate out amounts a little differently, and it isn't quite mathematically accurate. So for a bank, we get this equation. A equals P times the quantity 1 plus R over N to the NT, where T is the number of years, A is the amount in the bank account after T years, so T is your input, A is your output, P is the initial or principal amount in the bank. R is the advertised annual rate. This is not the actual annual rate, but the advertised. And N is the number of compounding periods. If something compounds annually, then N equals one, because it's compounding once a year. If we compound biannually, that is n equals 2. Quarterly is n equals 3. Monthly, n equals 12, because 12 months in a year. Daily, n equals 365, and hopefully you see the pattern. Here's our first question. We have Charlie. Charlie has $8,000 to invest into an account. OK, right away, you see account an advertised annual rate, you are dealing with a bank problem. You have A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT. The bank account has an annual rate of 3.2%. We want to change this to decimal form of 0 0.032. And this compounds quarterly, N equals 4. We want to know how much money will Charlie have in seven years his initial investment, or his principal amount, is $8,000. We're solving for A. We get A equals 8,000 times 1 plus 0 0.032 over 4 to the 4 times 7. A equals 8,000 times in parentheses, you want to do this division first. So 0 0.32 divided by 4, which gives us 0 0.008. And then we add that to 1, which gives us 1.008, all raised to the 28th, which is 4 times 7. Take care of the exponent first. We get 8,000 times 1.008 to the 28th, which is 1.25 if we round. Thus, Charlie has 8,000 times 1.25, which is 9999.65 dollars in his account. So just shy of that $10,000 mark. What's really important for the bank problems is, first of all, identifying when you have a bank problem. And then second of all, make sure you do the order of the operations correctly. You want to divide this R over N first, then add that value to 1, and then raise that value to your exponent. Let's look at another example. 